Hello and welcome to the Thursday, November 10th, 2022 edition of the Sands and Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich and today I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. Not all ransomware is super sophisticated. Xavier ran into a ransomware sample that actually does just with Visual Basic for application and PowerShell. Now, the Visual Basic for application script is just used to create the PowerShell script and, well, uh, then it goes and encrypts. More details uh, in the diary that Xavier published, but just in short, it uses ncroc.io, the cloud service that's used sort of to uh, test APIs as a command and control server, which really means that all requests are being forwarded to another server that, of course, we don't know about. Also, this particular uh, command control server as well as the onion site mentioned in the ransomware node are no longer available it does exfiltrate the key directly via ncroc uh, so uh, that's sort of how it uh, manages uh, keys and uh, then it also has an interesting uh, kind of quirk in that it does not run on a system that has a directory called uh, Oracle uh, Kit. Uh, this may just be uh, to sort of prevent uh, multiple infections of the same uh, system. Now, since it's so simple, it doesn't exfiltrate any data. However, it claims it does so. And of course, uh, that's also often happening with sort of the lower end ransomware, where it makes claims that are just not true. In some cases, actually, even where it claims that the files are encrypted, even though they're not actually encrypted, but just renamed. Now, in this case, your files are encrypted and also any backups, shadow copies and such are deleted as well. And Apple today released two surprise updates, not that they ever announce them, uh, but uh, these are uh, two very specific updates only affect the latest version of macOS uh, Ventura, that's uh, macOS 13, as well as iOS and iPadOS uh, 16. And uh, these updates fix uh, two different vulnerabilities, both in libxml2, one CVE 2022-4033, and then we have uh, 43. 34. These vulnerabilities were actually originally made the public and patched in the open source version in October. So I guess they just want to release those patches before there is an exploit. At this point, I don't see an exploit. There's also a chance that uh, these versions of uh, iOS, iPadOS, macOS were released uh, to fix uh, some functionality issues. And well, they had uh, those security patches available as well. So uh, they uh, just decided to release them too. There is a good chance that we will get similar patches for older versions of iOS and macOS, but uh, that sometimes uh, takes a few days. And if you're looking at your laptop and you find some uh, drivers called Secure Backdoor or Secure Backdoor PEIM, uh, well, uh, would you be surprised at least uh, ESET security researchers were surprised when they saw that on Lenovo consumer laptops. Turned out uh, these weren't attacks. Uh, instead, these were debug drivers left behind on these systems that actually do allow disabling of the secure boot protections on these laptops. This and other vulnerabilities related to secure boot were now patched by Lenovo. So some Something that you may want to take care of. The additional vulnerability is an SMM memory corruption vulnerability that could also again allow attackers to inject a code even though you have a UEFI secure boot enabled. Uh, pretty uh, difficult thing to get right apparently uh, we had uh, multiple vulnerabilities in sort of the secure boot process in the past and what they're tr really trying to do with uh, secure boot is prevent an attack where an attacker has uh, physical access to the system and uh, would be able uh, to alter the firmware of the system 
And then sort of in miscellaneous patches, uh, we do have patches for SAP that were released as part of the big patch Tuesday, of course, yesterday, sort of a little bit in the shadow of Microsoft's patches. Also the Fox IT PDF reader uh, did receive an update. Well, and that's it for today. Thanks again for listening and talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.